It's been a while since I've been out here, but we can. My name is Alan Miracle. I'm running for Secretary of State. I am a former state representative of the 49th District, which is Bullock County, south of uh, Louisville. When I first got elected, I was the second Republican ever elected in our county's history. First, I was a city councilman, 24. Now, that our district at that time was 69% Democrat. We're now 57% Republican. We're kind of getting ready to catch up with you guys in registration. But when I uh, was running in this, uh, for state representative, I was in a special election to reform around the state. The Republican Party made a decision that since my district was 69% and I was a city councilman, they didn't think I was going to win. So they helped the other three. I had $3,000 in my name running against a guy who owned banks called People's Bank, Sam Hardy. Guess who's the only one of the four that won? Me. That's because it's called hard work, getting your elbows in the pickle barrel, fighting hard. The difference between myself and the other two candidates is this. I have a voting record. I'm the only one that's got a 100% pro-life voting record. I either sponsored or co-sponsored with Ms. Stein every single bill when we were up there dealing with pro-life. Two, I'm the only one that's got a pro-gun voting record. Plus, I also sp helped sponsor the concealed weapons law. And three, I'm the only one that's actually passed election laws. It's very important to know our election system. In fact, I understand I'm the only person to run for Secretary of State that has done that. And I'll give you an example of one of them. You all take it for granted. But once you're in line by 6 o'clock, no matter how long that line is, no matter how long it takes, you get the vote. I wrote that law in 1998. The reason for that law is in 1996, I had 300 of my constituents stand in line for an hour and a half, and at 7 o'clock, they cut them off. They didn't get to vote. It was shameful. So I created that law. That law in 1998 helped one of my favorite U.S. Senators of all time, Mr. Jim Bunny, win his race. If you all remember, in 1998, the second congressional district from Shepherdsville to Bowling Green, was still voting at 8 o'clock at night. Those are some of the things that I believe that you've got to have someone to experience and knows what they're doing. I will create what's called an Election Integrity Task Force. We will look into every issue dealing with elections. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how big it is. We're going to get it done. We're going to give you an answer because you folks, every one of y'all, want an answer and you're not getting it. You see, we've got too many politicians out here, but we don't have enough servants. And I've always been a servant my whole life. And I'm going to make sure we do get that done. Two, I'm going to have what's called satellite office throughout the state. When you go to, I've been to Western Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky, Central Kentucky, all over the place, and they have a hard time getting the information or getting the stuff done through the Secretary of State. So I'm going to have these satellite offices there where people can actually see someone in the face and talk to them. And three, my biggest promise is after the first two months of the session, I will have town hall meetings all throughout the state, at least three to five counties a month. Because how am I supposed to know what really is going on without me hearing you? Think about it. You can look at my whole platform on uh, my website, website called We Need a Miracle.us. Because we do need a miracle. We need a miracle. Because let me tell you, we had a Secretary of State that gave that fell over and gave up on us. The people. We had a Secretary of State that stuck his nose in a lot of election, primary elections this past year. This is one of the biggest reasons why I'm running. Because I know what that Section 120 means. There's a reason why that law was created in 1892. Because the corruption beforehand. We gotta, we gotta have someone that's gonna be for the people. So I believe in transparency, election integrity, and respect. We need to have respect. Now, I don't know if y'all want me to tell a story real quick. I normally tell stories. After I get done, I'll take questions. So, in 1996, we had the redistricting about three times. And finally, I picked up this new area in Bullock County. It's called Nichols. Mr. Harper, who was our first Republican who ever won in our county, he also ran for governor in 1987, told me, he said, Alan, you need to go see Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, if you get a hold of him, he'll get you at least 300 votes. And I said, oh, man, I'm so excited. So I drove up there to his house and big old farm and I parked the truck, got out of the truck, 
started walking towards his house, and there was these four little goats, cute as to be, sitting there looking at me. And as I was walking up, one of them turned around and started charging me. I think he was a Democrat goat. And I got to thinking to myself, I was thinking, Alan, if he hits you in your shins, he's going to break your shins. So as he got close to me, I screamed at him, I went, why? And he stopped on a dime and fell over and died on me. Seriously. I went over and I punched him. He picked on me stiff. And I thought to myself, oh, God, I've been lost this moment. So I went to Mr. Wilson's door, knocked on his door, and I said, Mr. Wilson, I'm state representative of America, and I can't get your vote, but I think I've done lost it. He says, why is that, son? I said, if you look behind me, I've done killed one of your goats. He looked over, and he said, I don't see no goat. And I turned around real quick, and I said, my God, that goat's just like Lazarus. He done rose from the grave. <laughs> he grabbed a hold of me, put his arm around me, and he walked me up to the house. He said, hey, son, I raised some fainting goats. <laughs> that was cheating. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Um, Mark Clark, uh, election integrity for Berry County. Can you tell us how much you raised for your campaign in your works donors? I'm sorry? Can you tell us how much you have raised for in your career campaign and who your large donors? Uh, I've actually I've actually financed mostly with myself. Now I do have some that have to give me some money. I, I don't know my treasurer does, but if you after we get done from here, give me your a number and I'll make sure she calls and tell you. Oh, another thing, another misconception about me, and I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out because I've heard this stuff here. Someone has said that I was put in this race as a plant by McConnell. <laughs> well, let me tell you, who's the first person to make their announcement for Secretary of State? I did it the Monday after Fancy Farm, folks. Right, there's no love lost between me and Adams. There's no love lost between me and McConnell. So I was going to set that straight. Because you know, when you tell lies on me, I'll start speaking the truth. Now, I'm an old preacher's kid, so you can understand how that is. I'm, I'm going to fight you. I'll get my elbows in a pickle barrel because I was the warrior for the Republicans. They gave me all kinds of nicknames up there, everything from Huey Long to William Wallace. Because when they needed to fight, we needed to fight something. And I'll give you an example of one when it comes to pro-life. You all remember old Miss Stein? represented you all for quite a few years. Had people throwing eggs at us, throwing rocks at us. And I saw one of the rocks get ready to get to her and I stood in front of it. And they gave me nine stitches. People could talk the talk, but gotta learn how to walk the walk. And I've walked that walk. Yes, sir. Election day is May 16th this year. I have some people on military duty on May 12th. Mm -hmm. So I have to vote early. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Actually, I'm going to be straight up with you. I hate this mail-in voting stuff. It is crazy. I've watched my brother lose a race between midnight to two. But early voting, I particularly don't like it. I spent 12 years down in Georgia, Savannah, Georgia. I ran a television station down there. We reported on a lot of stuff. They, they, they vote for like 10 days. There's a lot of corruption going on when, it, when you get those things. And I watched it happen to my brother. Now, there is an absentee ballot, which you can do which is all right, but I do not like this idea. I really don't, but unfortunately, the Secretary of State can't do anything about it because the legislature this last year created it into law. So I'm gonna have to either convince them to do away with that or it's gonna stay. It's just simple. One more thing, Eric's system is gone the day I walk in that door.